Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about HTML text. So as you can see I have a code editor open Visual Studio Code and I have live server running which takes it to this port. So now let us just set up the HTML page. So if you press shift 1 you will get the exclamation mark and press enter. So it gives you the basic structure of the page and I'm just going to name the title text so now when I refresh it's going to come as text so now there are some tags known as headings let us see the biggest one in them this is the main heading h1 tag this is a it's a main heading I'll just zoom in for so you can see it bigger so this is a main heading then there will be h2 tags which are slightly smaller than a uh, h1 tag this is a level 2 heading so as you can see level 2 heading I'll just copy 3 4 5 6 there are total 6 levels in headings so 3 and as the number is bigger Oh, sorry as the number is bigger the size will be smaller see big little small like that to the smallest then there are some other there's another paragraph so it's a p tag so a paragraph consists of more than one sentence this is a paragraph okay here if you want if you give enter for me it just formats it I'm using prettier yeah so that's pretty much in the p tag you can keep paragraphs so let's just copy this paragraph and paste it down so now we are going to learn about the bold tag so B is just basically going to give a bold so see this is paragraph here around paragraph we kept the B tag it's going to become bold then if you want to make the text italic okay sorry then you can just keep the i tag so it's gonna come as italics that means the letters are going to be slanting so like if you want to write an equation let us say e is equal to mc if you want that number to come up you can keep su sup so it's su superscript it's gonna come up see it's gonna come up then we'll just copy this and instead of we're just gonna give co and instead of sub we're gonna give sub subscript it's gonna come down wait we'll just change this over to capital yeah then you can give line breaks so if you want a part of the paragraph to come in the next line you can give a br tag this is a self closing tag see it's gonna come in the next line as you can see and then if you want to separate these two like instead of a br you can use a HR so it's just basically going to add a line between them it is like we can use it to separate terms yeah and then we can add strong like it's similar to bold
Wasser. Ja. So let's just give a strong around this guy. Yeah. So as you can see, this also comes ball, and there's to, if you want to give emphasis, we will just copy this italics one. It is similar to the italics, by default it is italics. So, so it's gonna come in italics. Then quotations, if you like, there's a tag known as block quote wait we'll just give the block quote site from where we get it right wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash vini hyphen the hyphen poo then Did you ever stop to think and forget to start again? So it's like it's gonna give a tab spacing to it automatically. Then if you want to give like the quotation marks around anything. So we'll just give the Q tag. Some people talk to animals, not many listen, though. That's the problem. So as you can see the quotation marks came. So then you can like for abbreviation like to emphasize let's say ab a b b r tag so we're going to give title professor in the prof Stephen Hawking is a is is a tier all right just Professor Stephen Hawking so see it's gonna show professor like if it's small word you can just show it like this so if we hover over it it's gonna show professor so then in another we can add acronym Ac acronym National Aero Nautics and Space Administration. So then we can give NASA. So now this NASA, if we go here, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, it is almost like abbreviation but this is if you give half the word and this is acronym like just the starting letters of the word so now so p now we, there's a site tag to like when you are working on a piece of book so like the browsers will make the site content inside uh, italics 
and if you are referring to a book like that then it is better to use the site tag so, so it's going to take it in the italics and then there is the dfn tag dfn black hole so if you are like you explain first time you explain some new terminology it is known as defining instance of it so like first time so it's gonna slant it a little yeah then we can give address address tag to give the address of anyone p 742 evergreen terrace springfield so it's gonna just keep it in slanting again so then there is the the like wait sorry the del tag like it will show deleting worst and the uh, in stack the let's just give best so so it's gonna cut out the worst and just keep best will give us space in between so see worst dash and then best so then next s tag so wait s similarly is like if you just give worst worse okay so then so it's just gonna keep a strike through to it yeah so this is it guys if you have any questions please comment down below i will try my best to answer them and please like and subscribe bye guys